Okay, so this is now what I'm going to be covering is the updates on this one that after a few transformations and the piss poor instructions I actually found out that this has actually got defects in the rollout mode is that the feet do not actually, if you look at the peg hole here and peg here, they don't link together and neither, and then got this one to reverse the peg and then the peg hole here, they do not actually link at all. I've tried everything to actually sew them together, but unfortunately the legs just pulls apart. That's the defect in this one's robot mode. This is weapon is a jack. I checked the instructions on the Megatron here and it just says, calls this a weapon. There's obviously a fire extinguisher that's used in uh, racing. It's a big fire extinguisher. This lifts up and you spray the foam. Turn into a weapon. Okay, whatever. So, I want to transform this one on camera. And then we'll see if it's got the same defects. So, that one, everything else on that one is actually fine, just so you know, on the, um, on the Maximus. Everything else is actually perfectly fine. Nothing to else, no other defects to report. So, Let's see if hit or miss continues on this one with their uh, quality. Well, just because this is the first time, that means everything will be actually a wee bit stiff. That an automorph as you all know, it's always hit or miss. There we go. Put up. Uh, all right, that's so snap forward. All right, let's get the legs apart. Fold that up, fold that one up. Let's get the feet flipped down. They're trying gunmetal feet. Alright, now this peg here is supposed to go into this slot here to form the front of the leg. And because they reuse the same mold, it's actually off alignment. So that's another defect. All right, swing these down. All right, so basically it looks like the defects from that one actually carried over to this one. Okay, so let's swing this around. Swing this one around. Okay, now, theoretically speaking, I believe this, believe this piece is actually supposed to be able to hinge around, but it's got this block here, which is preventing it from doing it, and that one actually has it too. So that's actually another defect, okay? So, yeah. All right. Okay, now, I showed you the big defect on that one, it, on the feet. Now, because clearly they reuse the same mold, clearly the defects carried over. All right, so now, let's see if the, light, see if the feet can even link together. All right, apparently no. Try and adjust this this piece here. I'm giving I'm giving the GT series here every chance, but it's just like, no, we're gonna suck. I'm gonna hinge that piece out and then see if I can actually get it to Alright. Nope. I was gonna so I'll just set it blow it. How's that? Alright, we'll just set it blow it. Given uh given that clearly these 
These defects weren't just weren't just in any of them. Finish, just screw me up a bit. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and just clip this down. Bring that piece down. Yeah, Max, just go ahead and fall over. All right. Oh, try to link up the like, torso together. There we go. The arm can do everything it needs to do. There we go. And the leg, because it's not actually pegged together like it's supposed to be, is of course wanting to go apart. And then, all right, now the fire extinguisher, which he's using for a gun. Make sure I put it in the face of the it way. It literally just says weapon. This is attack mode. So, other way. Well, the design flaws are ironically indigenous on both of them. So, my end opinion, can I recommend them? No, not at all. I do not recommend the Transformers GTR at all. I, I even gave it two chances here. I mean, if they redone the legs, that way they can actually all pig together correctly, it won't be such a big deal. <coughs> and then, to make matters worse, the automorph on the upper body hurts the car mode. Putting it into the robot mode is, robot mode is easy. It's really easy to put them into the robot mode, but putting back into the car mode it is just, it's just a chore. Putting back in the car mode. I mean, the accompanying sister figure is actually the best, in my opinion, that iron here is. It's the best part, I mean, they come with really good, really good joints. I mean, look at this. Look. And then they even, they're even pegged together where you might actually break them. I mean, they're really well jointed. I mean, let's see if this one has the same faults she has when out of the box. I mean, the hard skirt's the only worst part about this figure. All right. See, look at this. This one here, ironically, I've already passed the joint that was a problem with my other one. Yeah, this one here has actually no joint faults. Every joint is actually working right out of the box almost. There's only like, as far as three that I come across, it's really stiff, but not so stiff like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna break it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. This figure is actually, in my opinion, and since I've actually got a wood surface, it's 
a lot easier to get them to stand. This one here is ironically the one with the really stiff leg. I mean, look at that, boom. No problems to get in her stand. Cause they got actually wood surface here. I mean, if you can live with the defaults in this one, the, the mess of pegging on the legs, the automorph on the torso, yeah, then this figure is actually not bad, but the short put it into vehicle mode and then the three, the three defects on this figure actually hurts this figure, but it kind of makes up with this one. And clearly quality control was something they weren't going for here. I just wish the windows actually could fold down into the doors. I do wish that. In fact, I want to turn Maximus around so that we can see both sides of the door since they're using the same mold. Yeah, they want to go put the detailing inside the door, but I'd rather not have the detailing in the door so I can fold the windows down. So, I guess if you're a really hardcore GTR fan, I guess this is about as close as you can get to the GTR Transformer. Plus, you get a wide selection of paints, picks, picks, and partners. There you have it. Thanks for watching, and no, I'm not going to transform him back into car mode on camera. Thanks for watching. As always, links below. Comment what you think. Thanks for watching, and uh, catch you later.